going on in here, Ricky? Maybe I should look in the mirror. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Should we start with sneakers? You're hiding the piano? We could start with sneakers. Look at all these jackets. Let me say it's a You ready? <laughs> no, I'm not ready. Um, well, I get ready. I gotta wear one shirt, I think. Long sleeve, yeah. We can open a shoe store. It's like a walking advertisement for a brand. <laughs> I think we could do some fun stuff like travel day, sound check, in between. Mm hmm. Space age. This is definitely the direction the trend is going. Oh, it's so I thought we could ease you into it. It's only 5.34, good, I thought it was 5.36. Well, somebody said, why don't we make it easier for those people to get in and out of them? But the zippers look really nice though, but I wouldn't miss it if I could slip this on. It's great shape. Fancy schmancy. Okay, I'm gonna go throw a plain shirt on and dive in. Old clothes. Let's make the new me. See you in a minute. Creatures of habit. Amazing for travel and sound check days. Yeah, they feel great. Sound check days. <laughs> travel days. Uh oh. Just when we thought I had too many scarves. Hmm. It's looking really good. I hope they're comfortable. Fingers crossed. So I picked one this weight option and a leather option too. Should I try them one at a time? Yeah. Per foot? Have they full so far? Really good, but they also look really good. Yes, these are my favorites. So I'm, I'm like, the only thing is there's like a piece of fruit in, inside of each one. They do. They use a bite for me. Um, a shade of uh, black. Here they come to a neighborhood near you. Just sneakers. I don't know why we're thinking about it. It's just, they're just another pair of sneakers. Details matter. Yeah. So this is a new peekaboo they're doing, all their bags and sneakers and things See this yourself. season. Put on your makeup. I need to put a zipper on this. Um, then we might look at another pair to take on the road and then a pair for me to travel with. That's three. So two more. Two more, okay. Groundhogs taught this piece of material how to hide until the time is right. Because this thing is not gonna... So these are not quick change grids? Not yet. <laughs> it's an oxymoron. Pretty close to the old, exactly like the old one. Yeah, they're just updated without the zipper this time. I wonder if everybody had some varying degree of difficulty. Gave me a smile that indicated yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is they look so great. I thought we might add some interest on stage. That's the biggest heel I've seen on a man's boot. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in that boot, right? Small animal? Just a kitten. Rock. It's a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that these also need 24 hours. If they do a thing on the salt of it being slippery and to maintain the red salt. Oh. Really? I like that shape. That's a great looking boot. It feels and looks like it molds into your butt. It's because that's what it does after <laughs> five minutes of getting it on. I'm in love with the shape of them. Yay. We might have found a second pair.
So we're, we're working from the bottom up now with shoes and sneakers and, and great boots will last years. They'll get more and more comfortable to wear and then like some of my favorites, they'll look like they've been run over by a truck a few times. So we're starting at the bottom. We're gonna work our way up to suits and jackets and shirts, jerseys. If we can get me out of this boot. Oh, we have no idea. We just found all these shoes and boots and we thought we'd try them all on for somebody. So, um, I need new clothes for um, a television show I'm doing in Singapore for three weeks. And I can mix and match jackets and pants and different colored shirts and play around with them for a few weeks. But I need probably about seven or eight different looks. And then we'll probably integrate some of that into the touring when I come back to the States. But primarily for television coming up in June, late, late May and June, on the other side of the world. <laughs> <laughs> This fun process. Um, can you say once every seven months or something like that? Or yeah, we try to do once a season. Once a season. Once a season, always a season. No, um, it depends on what I need, what I still have um, that hasn't been seen on television or overworn. It's easier than women than dressing women who will not be shopping the same clothes. No, that's I can wear the same jacket and wear a darker shirt or a crisp white shirt in two days and it's not a big deal. So it's actually relatively easy once you find something you like. I've kind of gotten to know MB style over the years, so I go for some safe things that I know that he's going to like, and then I try and bring him a few wild cards that are trendy, and we can see if we can fit it into what he'd normally wear or not. It's classic. Very classic. And that's great because I'll give you hundred dollars to say that. Just a hundred. I thought we agreed on five. Oh, did you hear me say five? Mm -hmm. I said if you say classic five times. Classic, <laughs> Just like that. Like when I think of it, when I'm shopping for Envy, I'm looking for clean shapes, structure, things that have nice details to them, kind of elevated basics. So like today we've got some jackets that have leather trim, or they'll have like a nice thing on the sleeve or the pocket or something that makes them jump out but again, pieces that he can wear more than once. It's not very trend-led, very classic, I'd say. There are certain brands that I start out that always have something for you, and then I'll venture out and see who else. What does the word classic mean in the dictionary? Timeless. <laughs> 